Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we will be solving one very interesting system of equation for expression x power 6 minus y power 6 over x square root x plus y square root y. Let us solve first this system of equation. x plus y sum of roots, x y equal to 1 product of roots. So what I will do, either you can frame one quadratic equation or simply find out the value of y that is 1 over x and put over here. So I can write equation would be x square minus sum of roots, so minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. So if I will write the quadratic formula, then 3 plus minus square root 9 minus 4 over 2. So there are two solutions, two roots, 3 plus root 5 over 2 and 3 minus root 5 over 2. Now you can see if I will consider x is equal to 3 plus root 5 over 2, then our y will be 3 minus the other conjugate. And if x is equal to 3 minus root 5 over 2, y will be 3 plus root 5 over 2. Now I am going to consider x greater than y. See this system, this set. And once we will calculate our answer, we will write minus sign. So let me consider x greater than y. This system. So I am presuming x is equal to 3 plus root 5 over 2. Okay. See what is required here. x square we required root x is also required. So we are knowing only x. So from x we will calculate x square first. Okay. x square will be equal to 3 plus root 5 over 2 whole square. Okay. So I will apply a plus b whole square formula. So let us apply. I will write a square plus b square plus 2ab divided by the denominator square. So x square will be 14 plus 6 root 5 over 4. 14 plus 6 root 5 over 4. This is our x square. I will straight away put over here in the denominator place of x square. Okay. Now we will calculate root x. x square is done. Now we will be calculating root x value. How it will be? x is known, let us consider root x is straight away. So I will write root x is equal to where x is 3 plus root 5 over 2. So I am calculating a square root of 3 plus root 5 over 2. So I will multiply numerator denominator by 2. So we can write 6 double of 3 2 root 5 so I have to multiply denominator also with 2. Now we can think about 6 is 5 plus 1. So we can write it is 5 plus 1 plus 2 root 5 over 4. Now 5 can be written as root 5 is square. 1 can be written as 1 is square. And then it is 2 root 5 divided by 4 a square plus b square plus 2ab. It is written like 1 is also there. So we can write this is one perfect square. It is perfect square of root 5 plus 1. And denominator is 2 square. The square root is there. Now we will cancel powers with square root. So what is left? It is root 5 plus 1 over 2. This is our root x value. Okay. y is equal to 3 minus root 5 over 2. If I will calculate root y, then where it is going to change? Only this in between sign will be negative. So here you will be getting negative. So here we will be having a minus b whole square. So here we'll be having root 5 minus 1 over 2. So let me write directly by 2. 
so far denominator is clear we have calculated x square y square y square i think it is pending so x square was we calculated x square value that was 14 plus 6 root 5 over 4 similar way once we will consider 3 minus root 5 over 2 and then we will take whole square so only the term 2ab sign will change so 14 minus 6 root 5 over 4 now let us calculate because we know root x is root 5 plus 1 over 2 root y is root 5 minus 1 over 2 x square y square is known so we can find out denominator straight away let us calculate here denominator equal to x square root x plus y square root y let me write here x square value 14 plus 6 root 5 divided by 4 root x was root 5 plus 1 by 2 okay now i will be putting the value of y square so it would be 14 minus 6 root 5 over 4 and root y it would be root 5 minus 1 over 2 so denominator you can see it is 8 so i can take 1 by 8 out in bracket we can write 14 plus 6 root 5 here we will be writing root 5 plus 1 then we are having 14 minus 6 root 5 then we will be writing root 5 minus 1 bracket is closed now we will multiply 14 root 5 plus 6 root 5 20 root 5 14 plus 30 44 here also 14 plus 40 i will write 6 root 5 so it will become 20 root 5 and then we'll be having minus 44 now 44 and minus 44 will be over so in total i am getting 40 root 5 in the addition of the numerator and denominator is 8 so our denominator value is 5 root 5 done now only concern is the numerator value let's find out numerator x power 6 minus y power 6 i will use algebraic identities formulas so i can write x power 6 as x cube whole square minus y cube whole square a square minus b square formula i can write a plus b a minus b Now a cube plus b cube, a cube minus b cube. So let us apply a plus b, a square plus b square minus a b. Here a cube minus b cube, a minus b, a square plus b square plus a b. Now if you will see the equation, x plus y equal to 3 this was our first equation and x y equal to 1 this is our second equation known so x square plus y square is also required one more thing x minus y is also required the remaining values we know x plus y is known x y is known so first find out x square plus y square so what i will do i will consider x plus y equal to 3 consider squaring both sides so whole square whole square now i will write x square plus y square plus 2xy equal to 3 square is 9 so x square plus y square xy is 1 so 2 equal to 9 so from here conclusion is x square plus y square is 7 one point is clear now we required x minus y 
so if x plus y is known we can find out using algebraic identity also or we have calculated x value and y value at the beginning so i will write x is equal to 3 plus root 5 over 2 this was our x i considered x greater than y y is 3 minus root 5 over 2 so if i will take the difference of 2 so i will write x minus y will be 3 3 will be over root 5 over 2 plus root 5 over 2 which will be root 5 only so this is our x minus y value and here it is x square plus y square value let us put and find out our numerator so here i will be writing 3 here i will write x square plus y square 7 minus xy 1 x minus y root 5 this equation x square plus y square 7 plus 1 so this is our numerator so i will be writing 3 times 6 times root 5 times 8 so it is ultimately converting into 18 times 8 so it will become 144 root 5 so our numerator is x power 6 minus y power 6 equal to 144 root 5 and if you remember our denominator was 5 root 5 only need to divide so i will write our expression e equal to this expression equal to n over d numerator we calculated 144 square root 5 denominator we simplified 5 root 5 now we can cancel root 5 root 5 so our answer becomes 144 over 5 and this answer is for x greater than y once you will consider this is true for x greater than y if we want to write the general answer then we have to consider the second case also so our ultimate answer will become plus minus 144 over 5 okay so this is how we can proceed our solution once you are writing x greater than y then answer is 144 over 5 and if y is greater than x answer will be minus 144 over 5 i hope this video will be meaningful to you friends bye bye till next video good luck and take care but do not forget to like share and subscribe